What's up you guys? This is Herpy Derpy and today I have a really sick battle for you guys. Um this is a battle against a guy named Kids. This is a um I don't think he has a YouTube channel, but he is a very uh big fan of mine, so shout out to him. Um this is an RU match that we had. I did bring one Dream World Pokemon, which is my Zangoose. He was totally cool with it because he didn't think Zangoose would do anything, but oh, you will see the power of Zangoose in this match, believe me. So let's get this battle started. So I'm going to lead off with my Jinx, like the all-famous Jinx with the counter and all that stuff, but I think he knows that, so he's going to switch out and go into his Deox uh, defense form, which is kind of annoying, but either way, I'm going to go for a counter thinking he might go for a Night Slash or something, but unfortunately not so now he know he's gonna go for a magic coat i'm like oh shit but then i missed the lovely kiss on myself which is very very nice for me but man like it's really dangerous to use these sets against the same custom sets i use against my opponent because i guess like against especially subscribers because all you guys already know all the sets on this jinx and stuff like that so well um the ice beam does get a crit on his yox's defense form um it kind of matters later on, as you will see, but that's okay. But I know he's going to switch out this turn, so I'm going to go for a lovely kiss. Hits his Escalavier, Esca Escavalier. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Don't even want to pronounce French stuff anymore. So, anyways, I'm going to keep going for Ice Beams, because I don't want to switch out, because I, there's Stealth Rock has Stealth Rocks up, and I don't want to break my Sash. But he goes for a Pursuit. I should have gone for a counter that turn, but that's really unfortunate that I wasn't able to pull off a counter. But either way, I will be doing some really decent damage to this Escalavier. So, Esca yeah, Escalavier. Okay, I'm just going to stick with that. Anyways, he's going to wake up, unfortunately, pretty early, and it's going to go for a Pursuit and kill me off, which is a bit unfortunate because I never got to use my counter. But either way, I'm going to go into my Mrs. Tantin because I know... I can take a mega uh, a leech seed, or uh, I mean, I think I can take a mega horn, and I'm go for a leech seed. So that's what I do, um, because I wanna, I could possibly go into my relicant and kill off his Escala Escavalier, but I'm not sure if a waterfall or a head smash will be enough, because Escalaviers are pretty bulky. So I'm gonna go into my relicant now to take the mega horn, because I know I can. But it actually goes for a sword stance here, so. Um, that's totally cool, because I know now know I can go for a Waterfall, which is very safe. It'll be sure to kill his Galavier, so that's a very easy KO for me. And now, he's going to go into his Braviary, and I'm pretty sure these things are Scarfed, and he's going to go for a Superpower. So I'm going to go into my Claydol to take that hit, which he does really, really nicely. And now, I know he's most likely going to switch back into his Deoxys Defense form, because he can deal with my Claydol. So I'm going to go for the Trick here, and I'm going to give him a Choice Specs, which is really, really good, because now, this Deoxys Defense form is absolutely crippled and he can't do anything like recover so he's gonna go for a knockoff here knock off my leftovers well his leftovers technically but um it does it doesn't really do too much which is totally cool and i'm gonna set up my rocks and i'm just gonna switch into weaver while well, i'm gonna rapid spin away the rocks on my side of the field because it's very nice to not take rocks damage so i'm gonna go into my tangela now because i know my tangela can handle this weaver but he goes for a sword sense then an ice punch but i do live that ice punch like a beast so i'm gonna be able to pull off a Giga Drain, do a tiny bit of damage, which is kind of nice, uh, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to leave my Tangela as fodder, because I really need a safe switch into my Relicanth, and uh, I do take the Brick Break here, which is so crazy, I was like, oh my god, Relicanth, you're such a beast, like, Relicanth does have a really nice amount of defense, and I, didn't, I don't have any investment in it, though, which is really, really weird, I'm not quite sure how it was able to take the Brick Break so nicely after plus two, but anyways, here's where the fun comes. So he's going to go back into his Deoxys, and I'm going to go into my Giraffe Rig. And this is the same Giraffe Rig I used so many times. But I thought I might be trying to just keep trying him out. So anyways, I'm going to go for a sub here. Well, he's just going to go for a knockout because he doesn't know what I'm going to do. At this point, he's just thinking he's like shitting up Rig because he knows I'm going to go for the Agility Baton Pass. So he's panicking. He's going to switch into his Lantern. And I'm going to, like he thought I would, I'm going to go for the Agility, get plus two, and now I'm ready bat to baton pass. This is this speed boost to another guy on my team. Do you know who that guy is going to be? Zangoose. Oh, yeah. And this is a set actually recommended to me by MLG Gamer, so shout out to him. And this set is a toxic boost set with a toxic orb, and now I'm just going to go for a facade and destroy that lantern. Like, with a toxic boost, it's 
kind of works like gut. So I do have a huge amount of attack right now, and also I have a huge amount of speed as well. So he's going to go into Braviary, but I'm still going to be able to outspeed the Braviary by just a little bit. So I'm going to go for another Vasad, kill that Braviary, which is really, really nice. And yeah, this tank is just wrecking stuff. I also do carry Swords Dance, so that's kind of cool. And he's He's going to go back into a Deoxys D. I think this is where that crit from the Ice Beam kind of mattered because I'm not sure if I would have been able to kill off the Deoxys D. But either way, I could have just gone for a 2 hit KO because he's, he's locked into one move. And I think his one his only attacking move is knockoff. So I don't think it really mattered too much. But either way, now he's going to go into his Lilligant who can't do anything to me. So I'm going to go for, for Sod which absolutely destroys Lilligant. So that was a pretty sick battle, I have to say. I was really down. Um, in, ter in terms of numbers, but yeah, I'm really glad I came back from that battle when I was looking kind of bad. So, great game, kids. Um, yeah, I still can't believe uh, Zangus did something. I do have to admit, it's definitely with the help of Giraffe Rig. So, yeah, Giraffe Rig, you did something. So, yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed this battle. Uh, if you did, leave a comment. Just let me know what other kind of cool Pokemon like this you want to see. I know I am already experimenting with some of the Pokemon that you guys recommended in the 250 sub special, but, you know, you can always feel free to leave a comment with a new set you want me to try or anything like that, so feel free to do that. Also, I did just narrate a battle for the uh, PO Simulator channel, so you can go check that out uh, after this battle, so yeah, see you guys later.